I want to talk about a guy okay, who I'll threw step almost out the way. 400 breaking pitches and did not allow a home run. Can you imagine that? Look at this. These are sliders and curveballs from Max Fried of the Atlanta Braves. You talk about the ability to spin a baseball. Let me show you how he does it. He started this routine a couple of years ago where he said, you know what, I warm up my fastball. How about warming up my curveball? So he gets into this drill, shortens up the distance, abbreviated delivery. All he's working on is getting that true overhead top spin curveball. And boy, does that work. Let me tell you how it works. 12-6, that means 12 on a clock, 6 on a clock, downward break. He's got the ability to drop that pitch in the strike zone, and hitters still cannot time the pitch. When he wants to throw two strikes down there, forget it. you got no chance that the pitch right in the zone. How does he do it? This is a very neutral stride. He wants the right foot to land exactly even with that back foot coming off the rubber. And then how do you throw a curveball? Make sure the back, the side of your hand there faces the hitter and stays there, stays square, and you get that true top spin. Why do they call a curveball a hammer? Look at the movement of his forearm and wrist here. It's just like putting a nail through a piece of wood with a hammer. Right over the top, stay square to the hitter, finish it off. This guy's dad was a big fan of Sandy Koufax. When he went to high school, Max wore number 32. I'm not saying it's a Koufax curveball. That's the epitome, but it's next level.